The shit all lit tonight is this non Mampur rig and Jeff from Separation is going to whiz us through that because he's got. You can't believe how many ties this guy's got. That's yes, quite a shit of lit, eh? No, it's <laughs> quite a shit of lit. We don't know. We, I don't know how we're going to make it. Um... It's a pity I couldn't roll the big one in there. Yeah, like, bring that in the couple of truck. That would have been, been amazing. You mean right. the one you had at Yeah, Canatech? the big, yes. the big boy. The, the one that does one very liters. impressive. Yeah. Fully automated how big beast. is that one? 20 litre flask, That's but the, the key is the automation. If you can get it up to 300 litres an hour a day, automated uh, clean up of ethanol. 300 litres? Yeah, <laughs> you get it to that nitty gritty uh, when you start talking about this. And thing. the nice thing is what you do is you inject in and remove the distillate, so you can make one batch, one lot. Right. So you roll up a 300 litre drum, let it do its thing, come back the next day, boom, distillate, recover okay. ethanol. Wow. So my question to you is, what are you going to do with all the weed? <laughs> Smoke it. <laughs> Smoke it. What are you going to do with like? Well, I mean, sometimes it's a shame because if it's really quality bud, why would you want to extract yeah. that? So, I mean, well, this is where we're know, looking to see where the market goes. I think yeah. as, a, as a as a medical property, you've got to grow the bud to do the full extraction. That's yeah. where all the goodness is. That's what it is. Mids and trim. It's just it's it's more like a yield thing. But That's it. The yeah. bud yield. itself is like the soul. You know, yeah. you've got to get rid of the soul. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I think the whole thing this about um, this I think the whole thing about the pharmaceutical crews coming into the cannabis space and making sure we got the right thing for the right job and doing it right from the start with full on German equipment. You get what you pay for. Mm. Yeah, I bet you there's a cheaper one somewhere. There always is. No, absolutely. Is I, mean, I think well, you have no. got some competition from. Oh, this, no, there is. I mean, any Chinese. Oh, you're messing up the C word. Oh, yeah, the oh, C word. They but, have but, done this. They've done it. They've they've done, done, I mean, it's, it's unfortunately it's out there, but it's good for you know. I'm not putting these these products. And these are the best you can get. Mm -hmm. But those products out there, they're going to be, I think, a lot more uh, readily available to the South African market. All yeah. Right. But, so you, the, again, it's but like, to the rec dudes, this is for the proper guys that are doing proper like, yeah. official labs. I mean, you know, like vapor anything. sensors on them, like That's the it. automation. So You're going to have this if you want to be the top dog and make sure your medicine is perfect. This is the kind yeah. of equipment you're Yeah, that stuff would be yeah. like your starter. Yeah. 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 So, so, so the example <coughs> is, you know that big boy I had at Canatech, that 20 mm. liter? There's about 150 of those in North America in terms of from Heidel. <coughs> and like that's the a kind third of those are automated. Yeah. I want something like 20 litres. <coughs> yeah. I, I say this is lit. It's not lit as fuck. It's lit. Because yeah. I, need, You've I need a big one. The big ones, I yeah. want a big one that can do 20 litres automation on uh, just on, on its own. I'm with yeah. him. I think it's pretty lit as well that it's actually evolving so much like this. Yeah. Yeah. Um, you know, I'm sure I'm sure there's people in Lesotho wondering what they're doing after they've emptied this 10 times in a day and they've got shitloads of product. I'm sure they're all sitting there going, now what? Well, I mean, that's, that's not where your bag. As long as they want the machine, you don't care. No, sure I do. I mean, no, no. I think, in fact, like from a pharma side, like the quality of the product is like the medicine, the quality of what you're doing till the end product where it goes for QA and QC. Is it? Like, if you're not getting the QC and QA you want, then we failed in terms of a lot of what we're doing is project planning. So, like, based on your, from, you know, once you put your bag all the way through the initial extraction, whether that's hydrocarbon, ethanol, supercritical, you're running a road of that, if you've winterized the product, having the right freezers, going down to the right temps, if you're de-waxing in line uh, and avoiding that, then yeah. that's optimal. Right. So are you running a really cold butane, really cold ethanol to avoid that? Those are the, like, I want to know it all till your final product. So if your offtake is for crude, great. If your offtake is for distillate, great. If you're, if you're going to isolate, I think you need to look at what the US is doing, because yeah. that's really tough. Uh, so I think isolate is ambitious. So I would typically tell someone like if you are talking about CBD isolate We've got to sit down and make sure you've got that planned out because Let's be realistic based on what's happening in that market. We need to cater for that That's right. why I think a recreational market would be amazing because all these artisanal methods all the I do butane I do this I do a yeah. you know, I do some crystallization yeah. of pentane like all of that becomes well, I think interesting at the moment. That's just alchemy because nobody's writing it down. Because if you write it down, well, the cops will find the book and you're fucked. You know? See, that's it's all in our heads because yeah. it's what we do in our space. His space is totally different to my space. So I've got homemade equipment that I've used and I've battled with because it's homemade. But I've always been taught if you've got anything that looks like proper Pyrex in a lab and like yeah. syringes and shit, I'm just paranoid because I've been in prohibition all my life. Yeah. You know, it keeps you safe so far. Mm, yeah. Touch. Mm. Anyway. I can imagine knowing any one of these things is your house, you must be like, oh my god. No, nah, not for me, mate. You know, no, yeah, no, that's what I'm saying. It's like so it's super cool to just fucking do one harvest one time, walk away. Cool. That's 
but if you you know if you're buying this kind of equipment, you're going to put it into a proper environment. I think you wouldn't like you know spend a hundred thousand rand on a piece of equipment and stick it into a garage, for instance, mm. run yeah. with dust everywhere and like not take so what it is because it is needed to be the trying to make clean medicine. All right. Yeah. So you but have to treat it from you know utmost respect. I think also. If you it's, fill it with two liters, did you say? Well, that's all. You can go up to five liters on that bath. Uh, or a slightly bigger one, but you would fill it halfway. And what you the do bowl. is you rotate it. This bowl. This uh, that bowl. So the bowl that's inside the bath. Oh, fuck, I didn't yeah. see any of that. that. That's the reservoir no. flask. So basically, oh. it goes from here, goes through the coils and the vacuum, and it ends up depositing in that flask. That's and that's deposit. what you want right. to get your ethanol. And then you just invert your flask and take Do you want to desk cam that a minute, Dan, sure. in there? Can we have a desk cam, please, Dance? Just hide that, go around that side. Okay. So, I'm at the total wrong end of the stick here. I'm on the arse end of it. This is the bit where you put the liquid. This is the bit where you put the liquid, and then you so put your, it in a bath. So your crude or whatever, your, your, your basically your solution goes into here where you've got a mixture of ethanol and cannabinoids. You know, all of your extraction, extracted material. Whether you've done filtration, whatever it is here. And it's like very highly diluted. Then what happens is this is hot water over here, and then this is heated up. You obviously don't want to heat this too much, so what you do is you put vacuum into the system from the top, and then that creates vacuum in the whole entire system. Yeah, and in the whole time you're running cold solution for the coils. Yes, yeah, so cold solution. Let you dial in based on what you're trying to achieve. Right. And then when okay. this starts to boil, you'll see that this all becomes misty, and then it starts condensing on the coil and yeah. running back down the sides of the wall into, into the there. bowl cap. And that is golden brown. Really, the stickiest stuff on earth, yeah. Yeah, that's really, beautiful. This, really so that's stuff. well, that no, that, and then you so go this from is, this the is crude. On. Yeah. So this from here needs to then be put into a closed, uh, a short path distillation. Yeah. So if you're going to wipe the short path, then you go from there. Cool. Thanks for the desk cam, guys. All right. Now, now I see the other end. That's the bit that I was saying. There was a, I saw it 45 degrees in the pitch. Well, I mean, this I'm looking at the, the back of it, not the front of it. But this would be one of those great courses to have at university. Yes. You know, like well, this would be exactly. an endless yeah, but course. It would be one. It would be a module. No. It would be a module. Extraction. It would be, extraction. Extraction. It'd be basic extraction, like you're saying. You go through the extraction part, uh, which whether it's going to be solventless or it's going to be mechanical yes. or it's going to be solvent, and then you go into your refinement from that process down to whatever end product you want because it's not just extract and get something it's you yeah. do what you need to do from the start to the end in order to get what you want yeah. until someone invests in machine when you dropping biomass and you get you gummies on the other yeah. side yeah. you're like cool man the egg scientist has got uh, it right it will, you know? be no <laughs> Insatiable <laughs> weed all the innovation for all the other plants is all based around weed can though. i make this yes. from rosin you can make any yes of course you can enough of it because all you're going to do is you're going to dissolve that what rosin into a solvent and then go through this exact same process. But you might as well put the puck in as well because it's still got a bunch of stuff in as well. Well, you would extract it, yes. Well, you wouldn't be, would you put rosin through that because... No, well, you, you wouldn't well put, put the put rosin the whole, through it. You no. would dissolve it. That's you completely dissolve it and then what you'd have to do is you'd have to do a winterization because yeah. the rosin will have plant so much and stuff in it. Yeah, yeah, so you yeah. have to then filter all of that through before even thinking of putting it through this. I mean, if you do it, you'll just get a big clump of wax in this thing. Yeah. It's not nice. So you no. do that prior and clean it up as much as right. you can, and then filter it through this. So at the end, then you just concentrate. You want that golden distillate sure. at the end. So if, um, for instance, we put in the maximum amount of uh, solution, how long would it take for it all end up in there? So I would say this would work if you filled that to one liter. If you filled it 500 mils, based on the coil, you get bigger coils. I think this one might be 300 mils an hour. I know on the large... Only an hour? 300 mil an hour? Yeah, oh, in terms so of cleanup, yeah. Oh, fuck, okay. So, I mean, 60% of the flask volume in an hour. Yeah, I mean, I've run one that was doing... Well, let's do one a D-Day. Yeah, a liter, if it was, it was a liter that's half an hour, two liters every hour. Yeah, so it depends. Like I said, that big boy will do it's basically... Size, exactly. Yeah, it will do a full flask volume if you're doing 10 liters in about 50 minutes. So it will do 12 hours, 12 to 13 <coughs> liters an hour. Then Nigel asks, what level of exp expertise is required to operate this? In my opinion, very low. Like, you just don't break How much glass. time have you got to sit like, down that, that, yeah. that, and that, literally that, just be thing. very attentive to you it? You don't have just to yeah. watch it like this, sir. No, I think it's, I think it's basically no, making do. sure you don't break any of the glass. Yeah, you do. Right. You've got to sit there and watch it because there's certain things you have to work with. I mean, there's this yeah. one here has an auto-feed into it. So 
if you turn that this little thing over here on the front too much and get too much flow coming into here this will overflow yeah. and then you have a boil over which then shoots up into yes. this whole entire and coil then you lose and then you have oil everywhere inside you and then you have to stop everything and clean your oh, whole okay. entire system oh, okay. which takes you another five six hours to clean uh -huh. yeah. so wow. there yeah. is a bit of um okay. it, you've got to be yeah. hands yeah. on so you you can it's a good job for being stoned then, really, isn't it? You're just going to sit no. there watching the... No. 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 So this is heavy machinery, isn't well, it? Well, it's, it's for expert stoners machinery. only. Seriously, you can't go there and be like a noob, smoke a fat joint, and I want to sit there and operate a rotor back. But, but I'll say... Will fuck it up. This is a lot of hydrocarbons <laughs> and shit. A lot right? easier than an SPD. So, yeah, yeah, compared yeah, yeah. to that, I mean, if you're now looking at the different ways to go with SPD, then this is simple, okay. relatively speaking. I'm sure there's a whole bunch of YouTube videos. You get a degree no, in this and like... Hell of a thing. Is I think it, I think it's completely lit that it's around and it's happening and there's an industry and, and you can run a company involved with it and export it to other African countries. Who would have thought that five years ago? Yeah, I know. It's Hell amazing. Of a thing. Yeah. It's galloping along. What's going to be in five years' time? Walmart. Yeah. Walmart. Well, it is just specials. I mean, yeah. <laughs> Extract your own weed kits. Well, well, let's just hope they don't figure out how to properly convert CBD to THC because then well, that whole game that. just goes crazy. Do it in my stomach. That's what you said. Did you see the headline yeah. the other week? There was a it video about THC stomach. gets converted. Yeah. CBD gets converted in your stomach to THC anyway. But oh. tiny amounts, you know. It's like you'd have yeah. to eat, like. Were they not just they're testing them? Were they well, not just testing them, and there was like trace amounts of THC? They've proven the <laughs>